um, I've had some requests on how this card was put together, the golden ornament one. So I thought I'd do a really quick video this morning to give you an idea of how to do it. It is being recorded, it'll be on my website, so if you miss it, don't worry. Um, but anyway, here's how we go. So let's get rid of me and let's get down to work. All right, so these are some of the products that you're gonna wanna have. They're all listed in the supply list, but I, the tricky part is it, it isn't necessarily abundantly clear where I got this incredible ornament. I actually have several on my, my real tree that look just like this, which is kind of where I got it in my head. So where you're gonna start is you're gonna need the Eastern Beauty. You don't need the bundle, although I love the bundle. It comes with, these are the framelits that coordinate with it. I keep mine together. This is a, a sheet of magnet, and it holds my, my dies in place. We'll talk about that another day. But anywho, you're gonna want that die set, and I will put the links below so that you can find them. In there, you will see that you have, you don't get this one, you get these three, among others. Let me open this back up again. You can see that you could swap out this one for this one. You could, and they all mix and match. That's the cool part. So to get this design, you put this one, and this one, and this one together, and you're gonna cut it out all in one, along with, this is from the layered shapes die set, and there's the circle that finishes everything off. This is a different set of framelits. If I just do this, it doesn't cut it out. Adding this piece to it adds this little tiny, rim around your ornament. So let's do it. It's easy to talk, but let's do. Move some things out of the way here. We'll talk about each thing that you saw there in a minute, but let's get our big shot going. I'm using the magnetic platform. Ugh, love it. I have it upside down. Oops. I want you to see that. I didn't mean to throw it on the floor. There. The magnetic platform makes life so much simpler. It really does. And then your plate. And then you're going to set up the gold foil sheet. And then those items that I showed you. We're going to start with the circle from the layered framelits. Then the outside one. Then the next one, and because I'm on the magnetic platform, I can position these where I want them, make sure it's centered, and then I'm ready to go. Crank it through. Move that out of your way so that you can actually see what we're doing. Now, one of the other tools that are pretty helpful because this set is really detail-y, lots of itty bitty little pieces. This is one of my favorites, this foam. And it comes with this little brush. And you just go over the top. and it pops all those itty bitty little pieces out. They're not all over your desk. They sit right there on that little foam pad. Love this handy tool. And there's my medallion. So simple, right? Then you're going to take, and to do my card example, I have some old olive. Move you over. And this, I just did with the solid circle, the outside circle. You don't have to do that, but I wanted it to look like this was a green ornament with a gold outline. So pop that through. Let's 
Now you have the perfect circle. Now, a couple more things. But here's your medallion, right? Then I'm going to need the white. And notice this has the falling, oh, I've lost its name. It's not falling leaves, softly falling. I think it's softly falling. Um, embossing folder, again, I'll give you the right ones. Now this, when you use this one, you don't want the magnetic platform. It isn't a magnet. You're gonna want, it isn't metal. You're gonna want your regular Big Shot platform. You're gonna want your bottom plate. You're going to want your folder with the Sizzix and Stampin' Up side up, your paper in. And then you're gonna cover this up with a top plate. And make sure it's nice and straight before you start cranking. Crank it on through. I don't do it really well left-handed. Crank it on through. This was pre-cut based on the sketch that I gave you. Again, it's on the blog post and I will put everything all together so it'll be easy to find. And so now we have our embossed layer. So here's our card, our layer, and then we're gonna put everything together. I use the Fast Fuse adhesive when I'm working with something that's been embossed like this. It gives it a better seal than just our snail. To, and if you've used this before, you might get to the end and think, okay, what happens? It, it keeps going. See it? Can you see that little dab of glue? If you come to the end and tear and press down and flick your wrist to the right or the left, it cuts it right off. It's perfect. So just across, flick, leave it on the paper, keep it touching and flick. And you don't have any of those little strings of glue that come and then pop this on down and now i'm ready to add you to the top and then this is a little bit trickier because it's so tiny so i did use my snail for this because it's the the um the spaces are little you could use your fine point if you really are nutsy about the adhesive showing through. What I did was I put it on down, line it all up, and you can see where there's a couple places and the adhesive will rub off. But remember, we also have that terrific fine point glue. We do somewhere in this gadgetry of things I have here. I don't see it right now. Uh, oh, here it is, sorry. This is the fine point and I do love this. It stays because it has, um, it has a little, a little metal, like a needle that goes down in to keep your little dropper thing open. Works really good. So you could do that too. I tend to be really impatient. Now, the final part was the bow. That was done using the bow punch. And again, the gold foil. Remember with the gold punch, with the bow punch, you need two to get both sides of the bow. So line this up. There's one. And then line it up again. And there's two. Put these together. So you need these two pieces. Those are the wings of your bow. These are the tails. And this is the center. I have one extra. So I don't need both of the centers. Okay. I use my bone folder and just kind of give this, hold on with your thumb and give it a little curl, like that curling ribbon that you used to do all the time with balloons. You know that kind I mean, that grow grain kind of ribbon. And then this one. All right. Okay. Now I find you can use glue dots. I like the the tiny score paper tear tape, whatever this is called. I like that best. It just works so easy. 
So you're going to put that in here and then tear it off. Glue dots work fine too, especially with a foil though, you want a good adhesive because this foil can, um, and I bring the extra to the outside because I'm going to use it. These are all going to go together in layers in a minute. It's stuck to my finger. Okay, so there's my two bow wings, right? I always have to find the end. Find the end. Stick you here. Again, a glue dot does work fine if you're a glue dot fan. I can show you those too. They're mini and they don't show and you don't have to peel them off, so that's kind of nice. And then you stick the other piece of the bow together, right? Now we need these two. So if I were going to go with glue dot, let's do those. And you're gonna put the dot on the, on the gold side, which you wouldn't necessarily think about, and glue that right there. And this one, gold and glue you right here okay so our bows together now we just need that middle and that's where I go back to this especially with the gold because <clears throat> it's a little stiff compared to your designer paper or even cardstock put that down so now the whole back of my bow middle is covered. Um, you can tell I broke off a thumbnail and I'm struggling, so I only have one thumbnail to peel with. <laughs> Problems of a crafter. Get off there, there you go. Then center this in the middle, and this is gonna hold everything together. Tuck. Hold everybody and tuck, and you are ready to go. And then I'm gonna go again with a piece of this on the back because I want good adhesive. I, want, I don't want this to come off in the mail. Pop that on down. Pull the top off, and then ta-da! You're done. It's really that easy, okay? All right, uh, I will post the list for you of what I used and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.